best length that it's supposed to be like am yeah. I there's something the looks weights. a little bit off if one is sick will it infect the other ones am I it's yeah. just like a one off disease for that one that's weak so all those uncertainties imagine you're waking up in the morning and you do not you're not aware of these things that can happen yeah you can go for a weekend trip you come back on monday everything is just it's sleeping up with it's possible yeah there was a time when i when i was <laughs> an amateur i had 70 goats uh... <laughs> don't tell me yeah what happened Seven, uh, stocking stocking is usually now that's what i was telling you yeah the greatest risk in farming is uh, at the stocking stage mm-hmm. if you're buying the goats from someone who who is not uh, vaccinating does not have those uh, risk yeah. management yeah Uh, uh, unfortunately is there, there needs to be a serious government initiative towards the northern side of Kenya mm. because that's uh, that's where the gala goats they come the gala goats are like the heartbeat of Kenya because they are the ones which grow faster than the local East African goats. are they are they like the ones that uh, and I'll let you get back to that like what what's the most common breed like because like even for me I like I really love goat meat by the yeah I do if there's meat that I have come to like say like any yeah, this I like it's yeah. goat meat yeah but what's like the the best breeds come from there i'm a sweetest breed because me i'm talking like a consumer yes i'm not a breeder so i would say like which one tastes better which ones where do they come from okay so uh the current ones consumption yeah the ones that taste better are the ones which are on free range mm-hmm. this one's feeding on shrubs uh, oh. has some has some connections towards there mm. so but now the breed but where from though? the breed is now the, those ones which are called gala goats mm-hmm. isiolo goats or boran goats they are the ones oh, from okay. northern side of kenya mm. so the other side is just uh, the issue of feeds is a challenge mm-hmm. but we're having some modern pastures these days they are trying to come up with ways of either buying the either buying the feeds or planting so but in northern Northern the side, nor- of, northern eastern, from Somalia say, and yeah. uh, northern side of Kenya. But is there like when you're talking about those ones, like they just walk around and eat like the fresh so herbs and everything? Yes, the free range ones. Also, those are the. the that's best, why the they shrubs, actually. The, you feel, oh, you feel yeah. the shrubs. Yeah. Because you see, they even assist you to do, uh, to to do like repopulation of whatever they are fed. Uh, that's why goat manure is another serious value addition. Mm. When you use it in your farming especially the spinach it gives you that authentic organic yeah. the organic okay. organic taste Makes so that's sense. why when you're having a goat it's not an issue of just the meat yeah there is the milk mm. there is the manure actually true that's why you only have rabbits now they come in to to assist in controlling of the weeds mm. the urine from you see it's, a, it's more of a, um, a a mixed farming yeah. setup mm. but now you see, uh, th- that's why the boar has tender meat The South African one has tender than 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 the gala. But the the the, the challenge you're having it has tender or and better tasting or just tender tender, tender and better tasting than really than the gala but now you yeah. see you see the challenge is with that price to import. Yeah. You cannot you cannot put it on the table. Yeah. And feed it. You use it for hey, breeding. Yeah yeah that one has, yeah yeah we are not eating that one by the way. You use it for breeding? Yeah. Then now you can have your ROI. Return, ah, okay. uh, return, yeah. on return on investment from investment. from the crossbreed because mm-hmm. the, inter- the, the the meat market requires 6 to 9 kgs for export okay the way the carcass weight mm. so the, to get the carcass weight mostly is roughly around half if it's 20 if it's 30 kgs live weight while well alive mm. the carcass weight is almost half of it okay and also something else that i want to ask you yes. i think i'll switch up the milk card but also something i want to ask you so how When, when you're breeding like because now can, can I ask about numbers that you you have now I might don't want to touch on that Number. we don't have to uh, you, you, uh, how many like okay a, on a normal like whatever you've done like already we don't want to touch on personals I can see already no, smiling no, no. is like no. <laughs> but uh, okay as you're scaling up right because yes, yes. you start small and yes. then you, the numbers start growing and everything because yes. I think that's like the whole ideal purpose of the business anyway you, sca- you start scaling up you start scaling up how do you get like your your market now like how do 